contemplating on whether I should take a break from makeup today or not. Usually when I don't feel like wearing makeup, I still put like something around my eyes to get rid of the raccoon thing that's going on right here. And which ain't nothing but smeared eyeshadow or eyeliner or mascara that I didn't properly wipe off the night before. Because in my sleep, I'd be like, so. <laughs> And I usually do something to my eyebrows, but that's it. Let me put some chapstick on. My nose is extra shiny. My nose stay shiny, y'all. I don't know what to do about that. I just want to say happy Wednesday, happy hump day, or whatever you want to call it. And I shared something on my Instagram story that I want to share with y'all, and it's going to be brief. I just want to say as a reminder not just to y'all but to myself as well now if you already are doing it keep continuing to do it keep continuing to do it because it's looking good on you but be quiet don't tell everybody your dreams your aspirations your next move I heard a rapper say black people sometimes we give ourselves away we let people know everything that we're going through, thinking that we can trust them. And people are so trusting with all this information and wonder why we can't make a move towards those goals and aspirations that we desire or we want to accomplish. Because we opened up our mouths and told the very person that we so trusted because they look so trusting and they've been with you for years and they're the closest person to me. But then don't realize that these people are taking notes when they ask, okay, there are literally people who want to know, how'd you get that job? Who'd you talk to? So they can do the same things. Little do they know, you're not going to have the same destination. You're not. Because your intentions behind wanting what somebody else have wasn't pure. But at the same time, as we have to be quiet. So the very thing that we want can happen for us just let them see it they don't have to know steak is for dinner just let them see it when it's done they don't even have to hear it sizzling Shh. let them see the finishing product don't tell think don't tell people your moves every step of the way you do that and you ain't gonna have nothing and you wonder why you stuck and still in the same place and this goes for me too be quiet about your love life be quiet about your your income and it was it, somebody posted that and it was a picture of Dwayne Johnson he was kind of looking up and there's five things they said that you don't tell nobody about and I know one of them is your love life family issues you know your income your next move your big plan whatever it is be quiet because there are people that are only around you not because they like you because you're a genuine person but they're trying to take your stuff and that's true. And once they find out that you ain't the type that tell everything, look how quickly they leave. Some people stay and press and press. But you get people that leave because maybe you acting funny or something or keeping secrets. I ain't keeping no secrets, boo. I'm just not telling you. Because what was set in my spirit and all my goals and aspirations and everything that I want to accomplish this year or this week or whatever ain't for you. So how about you go get your own and we can do this together. You go do your thing together. I'm going to do mine and boom, we can be encouraging each other. You know, it's a game of chess, not checkers. You're not going to know my next move. I think with chess, even though I never played, but it looks like it takes a lot of thinking before you move, even before you speak. I'm just saying. Like for me, out of excitement, I've said things I'm like, shit. And then worried for days, even for weeks, if that person was going to try to jump on a guy that I like, or that person was going to try to take the job position that I said I wanted, all because I opened up my mouth and said something. Something that simple can ruin your whole plan. When you see everybody else be like, wait a minute, I applied for that position. That's the man, that's the woman I wanted. Why you? Because you open up your mouth. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's that simple. Be quiet. I ain't trying to be disrespectful to y'all. Y'all my real shenanigans. But shut the fuck up.
And like I said, if you've already been doing it, keep doing it because it looks real good on you. You got to move in silence. I know that's probably cliche or corny to say whatever. And it's been said so many times. You got to move in silence. You got to. You got to. Because everything that, like I said, was set on your spirit to do ain't for everybody. I don't care if that's your your favorite cousin, your favorite brother, your, your you know, you and your sister did everything together. Or you, you and your best friend, you guys went to kindergarten together, all the way into college and prom together and, you know, fell out and then made up again and became the best of best of best of friends. Be quiet. Because there's a real reason why people get close to you. Either they genuinely like you. There are some good people out there. They genuinely like you. Or they just want to see what you up to. And there are people who just... There are several people that I say I have to look out for. That's why it's okay to be alone. It's, it's so great. It's so great to be alone. Because, and I'm just now starting to realize that, because your every move, if you are quiet, more things come to you. And the things that come to you, you still got to be quiet about those things. Because people will try to thwart your dreams. They'll even try to thwart how you feeling now. You could be happy, like I don't know what. And people looking at you like, what you smiling for? You ain't got nothing. Says you. She over there keeping secrets. No, I'm just not telling you. Ain't nothing for me to keep a secret about. I'm just not telling you my business. That's what that is. <laughs> and I'm not easily persuaded. I don't go where the wind goes. If so, my roots are planted. I don't go nowhere. Maybe my, you know, it's like a tree. You know, when the, weed, the wind blows, the leaves and the branches do like that, but the whole tree don't go where the wind goes. Unless... If you want to be deep about it, unless it's a huge tornado that can just pull a tree off the ground. But if those roots are strong, nope. You're able to get people's secrets out of out of them, but you're not going to get it out of me. And people's true colors be showing when they know they... I'm not, I'm not saying I ain't with that energy, but I'm just not on that time. You know? I don't want to be around people just to see what they're going to do next. Why don't I go get some business and mind that? And then learn how to be quiet with that. Instead of me wasting my time being around people trying to see what they're doing. They want to talk to the exact same person you talk to. They want to know, how did you get that job? Who would you talk to? What shifts you got? People don't have no good intentions. Sadly, it's always the closest people to you. That's why, it, that's why being portrayed hurts. Because it's always done by the person closer to you. You just got to be quiet. That's simple. That's so simple. And out of excitement, sometimes you hear everybody else sharing about their little love lives and their their businesses. And you want to say something to join the conversation so bad. But you got to be careful. Is that another spider? I just cleaned over here. It is spider city over here. But anyway, you guys. Yeah, you got to be quiet. You have to. And watch more things will come to you. And the things that you already have that you want you want to grow and expand, it will. Even if it's by yourself. Because sometimes you can think you got the right people in your corner. But sometimes they'll get close to you to either take mental notes, steal all your stuff, and accomplish it, your dreams themselves, like it was theirs that they worked hard for. Or they will get close to you, find out some information so they can go and tell somebody else. So that person can steal your dreams. There are people out there that are that bored. They have to conjure up certain things just to have against somebody because you see that I'm moving on and up and you just in the same place. You got to want to grow. That's number one. You got to be quiet and you got to want to grow. You got to want to do something more. It's another spider. But well, I'm going to be in a spider killing business this morning. But I just thought I'd come on here and let y'all know that. If y'all already been doing it, again, I don't want to come on my channel to my new role shenanigans. I don't ever want to come on this channel telling y'all what y'all need to do if I'm not doing it. Or telling y'all what I need to stop doing if I haven't stopped. I, that's a hypocrite. I say one thing and mean another through my words and actions. I ain't doing that. I'm going to be a woman of action, not just a woman of my word. But I got to be quiet about it. Be quiet.
even if it's a hangnail or or something I think I already said that but yeah be quiet you got to be quiet you have to and look how fast your business is be established look how fast everything is gonna grow look how fast and the people that don't belong in your life gonna drop mean meaning they're gonna just wither away I'm not saying they're gonna die I don't know why he said wither and drop they're gonna start winging themselves off because they know that you are about business that's how you make moves number one you got to be by yourself you got to be alone long enough and things will be shown to you things you don't like sometimes but it's a pruning process that's why people are single and I used to look at single as a bad thing but it's not because do you know how many creative ideas came to my mind since I've been by myself literally away from everybody and not in a relationship do you know how much creative ideas but I have to be quiet about it you even have to be quiet about a fucking idea you have to that's simple you have to be quiet about a feeling I'm just happy today I'm just because people will try to thwart you and then they want to be like why are you so happy no no what's really going on I know you. So, so what, why are you smiling? Like, no, no, for real. You met somebody? You got some? You got a new job? You got a new place? Be quiet, because people like that. <sighs> that's real. I know they have a struggle that's real. But you got to be quiet. You do. But then you got those people that like, I can say whatever I want to say. That's my sister or that's my cousin or that's my mom or whatever like that. And that's my best friend or whatever. I can say that. Go ahead and watch. You're going to be in the same place. When it comes to when you're about to embark on something good. And it's only set for you. Because if it was for everybody, everybody would be would know about it and would be working towards it. But it was for you. It ain't for everybody. It ain't. And then you start appreciating that times when you were by yourself and you got all this creativity. You start appreciating it. Like, I didn't have to be around because God cannot do nothing for you when you constantly are around people in bad relationships, in bad friendships, in bad business, colleague type groups and stuff. Because what is set out for you to do is for you, but you have to be alone so you can receive it. And the people are just gonna be wondering, like, what's, what, how'd you get that? I waited for this. And I worked hard for this. And I wasn't around negative people, naysayers, and people discouraging. I mean, like, oh, you got people who don't want you to be somewhere without them. You got people who don't want you to be higher or in the same level as them. And you got people who wanna dog you out and just discourage you and be like, no, girl, stay, you know, stay home like me. Stay, you know, yeah, don't go out, girl, just stay home. Stay home, yeah, stay home. And you can miss out on meeting a husband, that one person that's going to sign your multi-million dollar deal. You, you just got to take chances, but at the same time, it ain't hard. It ain't hard. Man. We do give ourselves away. Some of us are so trusting of people, we give ourselves a damn way. And we do. We don't want to admit it because we feel like, oh, she's not going to do that. How you know? And there are people who literally steal your ideas and got the same position that you apply for is with that woman or that man that you wanted because you were so trusting of these people because, oh, he not going to steal my woman or he not going to steal my man or, or whatever the case is. And they will. Or they'll just like be intrigued about it. Maybe go inquire about it. Go ask about it. They'll shoot they shot. Sometimes they make it. Sometimes they don't. But the simple fact that they went over there and tried it, that was your fault for opening up your mouth. That's what I had to learn. That's not everybody's lesson. That was mine. You got to be quiet. Stop telling everybody about even something as small as the hairdo you're going to do the next day. We ain't in high school no more. Girl, what you wearing tomorrow? None of your business. Some clothes. 
That's all you need to know. <laughs> and according to the weather, I'm gonna dress accordingly, but I'm gonna wear some clothes. But I just felt the need. The sunrise is amazing. I just felt the need to come over here and tell y'all that. Okay? Now, I'm not telling anybody nothing new. As me and my sister say, you ain't telling me no new news. But, gotta be quiet. It's the only way to success, even with your health. If people, if you share the health routes. Now, if it's a life or death situation and you're taking certain health supplements that can really help somebody, then yeah, share it with them. But if they want to know exactly to a T, verbatim, all the way down to every detail of how you lost weight, you got to look into that. Because people just be wanting to know for the wrong reasons. And no, that's not everybody. People do got good intentions. Let me be fair. There are a lot of people with good intentions, but there are a lot of people that without good intentions. So just as much as there are good people, there's bad people. You just got to know which one. That's why it's good to do a circle check. But when you're alone, just for a period of your life. No, I don't want to go to the game today, y'all. Y'all go ahead and do that thing. I'm going to meet you up next time, okay? Spend that time, go to dinner by yourself, do something, and then you start thinking about more things come to mind because you have, you're have you clear. You're hearing everybody else talk, so you can't really think. And you're like, oh, my goodness. You can really hear yourself. If you're always moving and don't sit still, you're not going to hear nothing. That's why I'm going to start taking some time to just sit down on this bench at work and go. And literally just be still and listen. Not only do you hear from God, but you start getting these ideas dropped. But you got to keep those very things to yourself. You do. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and go order me my tostada salad. That's pretty much all I'm going to have today. I think because that salad is so big. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. I just thought I'd share that with y'all. I thought the video was going to be short, but it's like 18 minutes long. But let me go and go, y'all. And like I always say in my videos, I know lately I've been slacking. I haven't been saying this, but y'all pray for me. I'm going to pray for y'all. P-R-A. Why? Not P-R-E. I ain't no predator. And you don't have to test me. I'm not a predator. Y'all pray for me, though. I'm going to pray for y'all. And we're going to pray for each other.